On this episode of Perky, how to build your own bed lighting kit for cheap. All right guys, so the truck that I'm gonna be using for this is a 2017 Chevy Colorado. This is probably one of the easiest trucks out there to do this to because there is a dummy plug on this particular truck behind the driver's side tail light. So you tie your wiring into the dummy plug behind the driver's side tail light. It'll work off the factory switch on the dash. It's already pre-relayed, pre-fused. All you do is tie your wiring in, hook up your LEDs, and you're done. For those of you that don't have a Colorado, I will show you an easy place at the back of the truck to pull power from that is already pre-fused and already has a relay wired into it. All you need to do is tie into it and add a ground. So with that, let me bring you over, show you what I bought, and let's get started. Some of you may be saying, okay, why would you want lights in the bed of your truck? Well, this is in a currently well-lit shop. So at night, it's very, very hard to see inside the bed if you run any sort of cover on it. So that's why I'm gonna put these lights in. The only way that you can really try to get some light in here without pre-wiring something in is I usually end up holding my cell phone in one hand and using my free hand to dig out whatever I need. It just kind of turns into a pain in the butt. The lights are much more convenient. All right, so this here is all the stuff that you're gonna to need to be able to put lights in the bed of your truck. GM sells a kit to put lights in the bed of one of these Colorados using their own harness and two LED lights that mount at the back of the bed. You can buy all this stuff that you see here for about 40 bucks and it does the exact same thing and it throws actually more light than the GM kit. So what I have here, I've got a roll of waterproof LEDs, some wire, some black wire loom to protect the harness, final backed adhesive tape, some shrink tube, and finally some weather pack connectors. All right, so these two wires I have right here that are just basically dummy wires just hanging here are actually wired into the dash. So if you cut the pieces of shrink tube off the end and wire directly into this wiring, the switch on the dash will work for your bed lights. So there's a plug up here that if you unclip that plug, I'm gonna take it out and just pre-wire everything outside the truck. That way it's a little bit easier to do but this is the wiring that we're gonna be tapping into. A lot of the newer GM trucks have something similar to this, already pre-wired for this lighting kit. So if you tap into that, if you tap into that wiring harness, there's no reason you can't use it. So you're gonna to have to look on your truck if you're doing this on a full size, something other than a Colorado to see where this plug is, but they are on the truck, they are pre-wired, all you have to do is tap into them. For those of you that don't have one of these plugs back here for bed lighting, my suggestion would be to come over to your trailer hitch plug and tie into the parking lamp lead on the trailer hitch. That way you know it's fused, it goes through a relay like it's supposed to, it kind of simplifies your wiring and it's already back here in the back of the truck. Alright, so my suggestion would be to tie into the parking lamps at the five o'clock position on the trailer hitch plug. If you want to use your bed lights, all you would have to do is turn on your parking lamps and then hit a toggle switch that you would have to pre-wire in the back of the bed. All right, so those of you that are doing this actually to your own Colorado, the white with a purple trace, this is your power. The camera really doesn't pick up on the purple trace, but trust me, it's on there. The other wire that you're, you're ground, that is a black with a white trace.
All right, so to give you a quick rundown, this plug is going into the truck. This is my adapter that goes to my harness. Each one of these butt connectors is going to connect to the driver's side LED on the bed rail. The wire then comes back out of the bottom of that butt connector. Two wires are actually crimped together in the butt connector. That's the connection for both of them. The second, the second wire is actually going to go over to the other side. So to hold the LEDs on the bottom side of the bed rail, I'm going to be using vinyl backed adhesive tape just because the adhesive that comes on these LEDs that you get on Amazon is not very good and this tape tends to work a lot better than their adhesive. So the LEDs that I got, you just cut the length. All you do is you look for the little scissor mark, cut it at the scissor mark, and you're good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crimp my LED strip to my harness. The red is gonna go to the red, the black is gonna go to the black. All right, so I've got the driver's side done. All I have to do is get it mounted. This is the factory GM plug going into my plug. The wiring comes up to the LED, but before it gets to the LED, it splits off and goes to the other side. So the driver's side's done. These two wires here are going to the passenger side. Those two wires will just terminate at the LED on the other side. But I'm gonna get this mounted up and then I'll show you guys how I ran the wire underneath the truck and then we'll go ahead and test it, see what it looks like. I'm gonna get this wiring taken over to the other side and then put some of that black uh, tubing over the top of it just to protect it and hook it up to the LEDs. The passenger side is gonna be a mirror image of the driver's side. All right, so for those of you that don't really quite grasp what I'm doing here, this is my 12 volt switch power coming from the switch on the dash. Comes up and goes in two separate directions. One, one branch is going off to the light on the passenger side. The other one is going off to the light on the driver's side. And then they're both tying in back here, going back to ground. For those of you that don't have a Colorado, and don't have a pre-wired plug at the back of the truck, so anything other than a GM product. If you tie into the trailer pin, this will turn on whenever you have the parking lights on. If you turn the parking light switch on on the dash, it'll put power on this wire, which you can then wire to a switch inside the bed. And then other than that, the, the setup is gonna be identical. The only th other thing you're gonna have to try and find is a ground, which you can find a regular chassis ground that's already used and just tie into that or create your own ground somewhere on the frame or body. That's totally up to you. But as far as how the stuff's wired, it's going to be very similar. The, the main thing is where you're going to pull your power from. All right, guys. So this project's probably going to run you between 30 and 40 bucks, depending on where you source your LEDs and your components from and what LEDs you use. There's multiple different kinds of LEDs out there. So pick whatever you want. The prices are all over the place. It really just depends on what you want. But one thing I do highly suggest is you get something that is waterproof. I looked into a, a lighting kit for this particular truck from GM and it was around $120 or $130. So one of these lighting kits from Ford or Dodge is about the same money. It's about $100 to $150. But on the Fords and the Dodges, you have to have the body control module reflashed and enabled to be able to run these lights. You can't do that yourself. You have to go to the dealer for that, and they charge about $100 extra on top of the cost of the parts to do it. The way I showed you guys in the video by tying into the trailer hitch plug, 
There's no reason that you would need to have the computer reflashed, but there is some additional wiring involved on your part. So as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like, and if you want to see more content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.